So in today's video, I'm going to discuss how to publish papers as a BS student. And if you are a faculty, then how to publish papers with a bachelor's degree student. So let's first look at it from a student's viewpoint. So the first thing you need to do is find a research supervisor with a PhD. And then there are several cases where this kind of thing is possible. You may look at your own university or institute if you are a student and this could be part of your BS project or BS thesis. If you do not have PhDs in your own institute, maybe you can go to a different institute and do your thesis. So many universities permit this. And the third scenario is that you could do a summer internship at a different university and there you could do some research at this university with a PhD person. Now why I say PhD person is important because PhDs are typically trained in the art of doing research and so such a person can be a mentor and a supervisor for you and can teach you how to do research. Now the next issue is that there are two possible scenarios. You could work with a person directly, so that is with a supervisor, or you could work in a group of researchers. And group type of research is especially useful in large projects, such as if you are dealing with uh, particle physics or such type of situations. And in such cases, you can be part of a large project where you do some kind of data collection you look at algorithms to manage data and also you do some coding which could be in one of the popular programming languages such as Python, C, C++, Java, Julia. And essentially these are some of the skills at which UG students are very good. So very frequently the scientists in any lab would be very much willing to work with some UG student and let them do some of these aspects in terms of programming, the analysis of data and so on. Sometimes this work may involve using Excel spreadsheets and basic programming in Excel also. Now, the second possibility is that you work directly with the PhD researcher and several times there are PhD researchers who have a problem which is not sufficiently big enough to give to a master student or to give to a PhD student and they may want to explore a certain problem and for this problem a BS student is very useful. So essentially this person may have formulated a certain problem for example a numerical method and he may have certain basic equations written out and then this person would like the help of a UG student to read some of these things write code and then probably make some few plots and all which both of you can then get together and write a paper. Now, for example, I will give you some example where I have done this kind of thing. For example, if you are investigating some new basis functions for a typical FEM code, or you are looking at uh, studying some nonlinear signal processing methods, but you are in the structures group in a department and no, none of the students really are interested in doing median filtering, myriad filtering and some of these methods. So it is a very interesting task to take some student from computer background and then essentially work with them during a summer to develop some codes in this area and write papers in that. And this I have used in many different problems, including FPGA based design. Now, one of the expertises which BS students bring to the picture is they are very good in coding they are very motivated and they have their eye on a very clear prize, which is typically a letter of recommendation and the application to a possible top graduate university. And if this student can get a paper from this work, this person with one paper can propel himself to a top university. And I have sent students to Purdue, Stanford, Michigan, Lynn Copping in Sweden, etc., with just one paper. And these may even be conference papers because generally a paper would lift the resume and application of a student enormously. Now, let us come to the view of the person with whom you are doing research. I would say that it is best to use a template such as Microsoft Word for writing the paper. LaTeX is too difficult and there is a paucity of time at this point to really learn the LaTeX software and write a paper. If you have a template from a previous paper, it is very useful. So I often use conference paper templates here. 
and I submit these papers to some important international conference and that can often be very useful. Now, the advantage about Microsoft Word is that all the figures, diagrams, tables can all be put in this document and then the publisher will very frequently be able to convert all these into a printable format. So like I said before, try to put these papers in conferences which are professional society conferences which have a direct link to journal. So by doing that, this I have in many cases published a good conference paper and this conference paper has been then accepted for publication in this society journal. Now what are some of the advantages which BS students bring to this problem? One of course I said is they are very motivated in terms of doing the work. They also have a very short timeline. They are very good in mathematics because they often remember the mathematics which they have just studied in their engineering mathematics classes. They are very good in programming and they have a very speedy sense of time in the sense that they want to accomplish things in three months or two months. Whereas a PhD student may be willing to spend years to accomplish something. And there are a lot of problems in science and engineering which may fit into a short term problem but may not be sufficiently big enough for a PhD problem. So if you are interested in exploring a new area of work in which you are not necessarily coming up with a very large size problem which has got research funding or something like that, then you can give this problem to bachelor's degree students from either your own university or from different university. And if this work leads to some good outcome, then you can create a bigger problem for a PhD or a master's degree student in future. And by doing this work with a bachelor's degree student, you not only further your own research, but you also help this bachelor's degree student enormously in the art of research. And I have seen that students who do research in their bachelor's degree typically go on for graduate study and they do a PhD and then they become experts in their own right. So this is part of your professional commitment which you can make as a faculty person. So again, these were some ideas I had today about can BS students write papers and how to encourage and use BS students to write papers or at least do research. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to my channel for more such videos. Thank you very much.